Hey guys, Apple released the fourth beta of the public beta yesterday and the seventh beta of the developer beta, which includes changes that we didn't have in the fourth beta of the public beta. In the seventh beta, we have a few small changes, one of which doesn't apply to our branch at all. The same thing that happened in 186. In this seventh beta, the Apple Watch is sold in the US, the Series 9 and 10, and the Elton John Ultra 2, if I'm not mistaken, had their blood oxygen measurement disabled, but it has been reactivated. In addition, a very important section has been added to iOS. The more it will last, and the more cycles it has, and the more these cycles are filled, the less its life is reduced. In fact, he wrote that sometimes he dims the display light, seeing that, for example, it is in a very power-intensive state and that it is working efficiently, which may take some activities longer. What does this mean? That means it lowers the processor's clock speed. It lowers the processor speed a bit, which is the same thing that happens in low power mode, but for a series of longer tasks, for example, a video. For example, we are outputting. We clearly see that the output is much slower in low power mode. Only those low power cores work and our phone becomes completely slow. In low power mode, we don't feel the slowdown in the same way. Now this mechanism is 10 steps. Sometimes they say, I'll go a little slower. I'll take these 10 steps. I'll be smaller. I'll go 15 steps. Less energy is consumed. I'll arrive later, but less energy is consumed. A situation like this can be explained, for example. Now I have a notification added to it that when it does this, it shows that everything was on for me now, but it hasn't gotten there yet. Today, I played around with my phone and it hasn't gotten there yet. It doesn't want to give a notification at all, but it says you're announcing that now, for example, probably if your speed is low because of this adaptive power mode. In low power mode, even the power cores become ineffective or one of them works or they are completely disabled. What is adaptive doing now? Adaptive, for example, if it sees that power consumption is high, it will work. We go to the control center, the background is darker and everything looks a little clearer. It's much more attractive and beautiful. And that's just a small thing. Go to settings, battery, and then in the power mode and adaptive power sections, an option has been added to give me notifications. What exactly does this adaptive power do? The explanation he wrote himself says that when he sees that a lot of electricity is being consumed, a lot of battery is being used up. He does a series of things to extend the life of our battery and the life of charging our devices at that moment. And this in itself will also increase the life of the battery in the long run, because the less you use something. Another thing that adaptive power has is, look at the normal mode when our charge reaches 20. It asks us whether we can turn it on ourselves or if it comes up there and put the phone in low power mode. This is like low power mode, which slows down the speed in some places so that less power is consumed. There are some things that it's better not to go into too much detail. But for example, suppose it has to go nine steps and these nine steps have to be repeated nine times like this. For example, when the power cores are working, they consume more energy. And sometimes they take these nine steps in one go, that is, they take five steps, and this way it works very quickly. When we put it in adaptive mode, it doesn't ask anymore. When it reaches 20, it goes into low power mode on its own, and it's great that it doesn't ask. You don't need to press the extra button. It will go on by itself and manage the battery completely. If you want more power and speed, you should turn off this adaptive mode. If you only care about battery life, you should go to low power mode. If you want something in between, adaptive power is the best option. Apart from this, when we lock the screen, the animation has changed a bit, not much, but the way they move has changed a little. If you pay close attention, it will be noticeable once or twice at first, and then you will think it has always been like this. It doesn't look like that at all. We had a bug in the previous beta when we were taking screenshots. Sometimes it would look dark, but that was fixed and my screenshot was correct. Look, something relatively new has happened. We've been seeing this story every now and then for a while now, but recently it's becoming more frequent. It keeps changing and getting better and better until it's complete. Probably next month there will be an iPhone launch date. It will be determined and when. Then the official and original version of iOS 26 will be released so we'll see how it goes that day. That's it. And of course, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. If so, please leave a thumbs up. If you know any other tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments below. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more similar videos. And then we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care.